This is my 91 Jetta. We're finally going to be doing some body work, repainting this thing. Um, a couple years ago, I sanded down the hood and the trunk of this car. I was going to paint it, but um, I don't know. I guess I wasn't in the right mindset. But now we are. So we're going to get this trunk and hood down to bare metal again. Uh, I'm going to be using a, a 6 inch orbital sander. Get that stuff done real easy, 80 grit. And then we'll be good from there. If you're like me, you end up converting to an electrical orbital sander. Uh, I was having a lot of problems with mine getting water in the airline. I was getting tired of it, plus the compressor noise on top of that. So, yeah, go with the electric one. It's uh, way easier to deal with, less problems. By looking at the metal for the hood, I guess. You can see what part's being sanded and what part's not. So by looking at this, you can tell that this is the high spot in the in the hood. So I'm trying to get this down to where it's all metal, bare metal. But um, we're gonna have to get rid of this. Have to get rid of this uh, these low spots and the high spots. Make it all one one level piece. So in this piece right here, I'm putting this foam under the hood. That way I can get a better, like better access to the hood. That way whenever I'm sanding it, I don't have to sand part of the fenders along with it. it saves me some time, it saves me a little bit of headache in the future if I did it. I'll just sit here and talk. But, you see me? Alright. So right now, we're about four to five hours in. We got the front of the car completely sanded the bare metal with 80 degree sandpaper. Kind of rotary sanded. Now what we're doing, we're gonna work on the back. Again, it's on the bare metal. We have some, uh, we have some spots. We're already starting to rest through. I guess I didn't coat it very well. I'm not really sure all the way. Uh, but yeah, we're taking this rear panel off so we can get to the whole thing and we'll be going from there. So one thing about this section here is whenever you're taking pieces off the car, make sure you have a little plastic bag so you can put everything in it. And then when you're done, you can label it. That way, whenever you're putting stuff back together, you don't get lost and confused and everything's still in one place. So it's much easier to put it back together. Yeah. 